Hi, today I'm going to show you how to assemble this pencil favour box. Now, the template for this box is on my Etsy shop. You'll find the link for that in the description below. So to start with, once you've cut everything out, you need to score and fold down all of those score lines and the ones along the end there. I'm using 220 GSM card for this box. You can use anything 220 to 250. I find, find that works quite, quite well. So just continue to fold all the score lines. So this part is the pencil point on the end. Okay, so once that's all done, you need to find this little, the, the smallest tab on the end there, and you need to line that up with the end of the pencil, just where those two, just where those two corners meet. So just line them up, making sure that that curved bit is still unstuck. And then do the same on the next one. Again, just lining up those two joins the two corners, making sure that curved bit is not stuck. So just continue lining it up. Okay, and once you've done that, that's how it should look. So all those curved edges are still unstuck. And then folding it all together, just pop some glue on those two long tabs. And then that whole thing needs to just interlock, which will hold the box together. It's a bit tricky to put these two bits together, but if you use a, a long pencil or a pen just inside just to give it a bit of stability inside just to hold it against you should be able to line it all up and get it to stick you just take your time doing this get it all nicely lined up Okay, and there it is. So for the pencil lead, you can either use a dark grey colour or maybe even the colour of the pencil to make it more like a coloured pencil. Uh, but I'm using a grey for this one and I'm using paper for this lead. You can use a thin card, but just, just not, nothing too thick. So put the glue on and then you want to wrap it around the end of the pencil. Just hold it until it dries. You see, by using a, a thinner paper or card, it, it doesn't stand out too much. It kind of sits nice and flush there. So, for the other end of the pencil, you need to put glue on each of those five tabs and fold them down inside the pencil. And this is going to strengthen the end of the pencil and it will help to keep the lid closed. So just work your way around each of those five tabs. And make 
make sure each one is pressed down nice and firmly. Okay, and this part is for the end of the pencil. So again, I've used a sort of peachy colour for this one. So to press it on. And because I've chosen to use a grey lead, so that I need to put a grey circle in the end. But of course, if you choose to do a coloured pencil, you could just leave that open. Now for the lid insert, this is the part that's going to keep the lid closed. So you need to fold all of those score lines. Apply a little bit of glue to those little tabs. And just work your way around doing each of the six tabs. And once you finish that, it should look like this. This now needs to be stuck to the inside of the lid, to the underside of the lid. And you need to make sure that you get it central, so with a nice, a nice border around the edge, a nice even border. It should be about a millimetre all the way around. Press it down nice and firmly. Okay, and once that, whilst that's drying, if you move back to the pencil point, and you need to start gluing these curved edges down, holding them against the pencil point. Just glue that last one down, press them all down. And it should look like this. So the end bit is now, the lid is now dry. So just try and push it in. That's a pretty good fit, that one. But if you do happen to find that it doesn't fit, that it's maybe too loose, you can put one of these extra tabs on the top there, you can do one or two tabs just to make it fit, but this one's pretty good. And there it is, a little pencil favour box.